So Costa Rica, I chose Costa Rica because I wanted to go to a Spanish-speaking country. I've had some background in Spanish. My family um, speaks Spanish. I don't speak it at home, so it's never really been a confident language. And then again, it has some of the best biodiverse um, examples out of anywhere in the world. So I thought that it was a great mix of the two. My favorite part about it. Being here is just being able to experience Costa Rica itself and really being able to explore all the different biomes and the environments. Costa Rica has one of the strongest sustainable tourism certifications in the world. Um, it's an example for many people, but Costa Rica also has other policies which aren't as sustainable. So we can compare those and ask those difficult questions. Um, I really liked our last field trip, which was El Toledo, because we went and had a bunch of discussions uh, with the main coffee farmer there, and he really mm -hmm. summarized everything from our program that we had learned up until that point. So we got to talk about not just the coffee production and the environmental impacts of his organic farm, but also we got to think about uh, how the economy in Costa Rica works and how coffee exportation works and kind of relate all of our classes to each other. And also we got to drink some amazing coffee, which was great as well. So we go to this small farm called El Progreso. And in El Progreso, they see that it's a family effort. It's an, an actual case of applied conservation. They want to produce uh, in balance with nature, and they know that it's not easy. It's like uh, every day they get up and they have to fight for what they believe. And this is a very rich uh, learning experience for the students because when they come over here, they are learning not from the textbooks, they are learning from talking to farmers, they are learning for, from talking to people in the municipality, talking to the park rangers, to local scientists. So it's kind of a brainstorming uh, discussion. One thing that makes the relationship between the professors and SFS students really unique is that we're co-collaborators in a lot of ways. So instead of just being taught, is that we often do research together. Teaching different backgrounds, uh, different, dif different um, expectations, different um, interests that students have, that it makes me feel part of a, a true educational system in which you have to deal with different uh, views, different concepts of sustainability, different interest in learning about uh, ecology or social aspects of the country, even the culture. And I think my favorite, obviously, part would be that I get to teach them the, the ecology in the field, and that's what I really enjoy. It's like teaching ecology at the places, looking at the animals, looking at the, at the, at the plants, and talking about the, the ecosystem at those places. Yeah, I think this experience will change or shape my future in the way that I'm much more environmentally conscious as a consumer. Uh, my major is um, environmental studies. It's currently political science, but actually since coming here, I've um, been more inclined to go into teaching. Just like the way that we've learned about the environment here, the fact that it is hands-on and we are like actually getting to see and talk to people about environmental issues, like, and the fact that I haven't gotten to experience that in the past, I really think it's extremely impactful to my own education and I really want to like spread that on. The people I've met here have truly changed the way that I think about my life and my career and what matters to me in a way that I really didn't expect. I just love the fact that we all live together in one building because I feel like we've really built a family here. Like I'm genuinely going to miss all of the people that live here.